Hi guys! Well today I'm going to be showing you a fantastic Cheetahs version of Potato Bake. By Cheetahs version I mean instead of having all those complicated fiddly steps where you're having to chop things really thin and fine, it's basically chunks that you just throw together. It cooks a lot easier, it makes the potatoes a lot more tender, and in the end it's a lot more stress free. So it's Creamy Potato Bake on the One Pot Chef. Now to start off, in a saucepan I have peeled and chopped about a kilo of potatoes. Now I've basically just chopped them into little chunks. Now normally with a potato bake you do it into these really thin paper thin slices, but I find that when you do a potato bake like that, the potato tends to go a bit crispy and it starts to sort of bite back when you bite into it. I like it to be nice and tender and soft and that's why I'm doing it this way. So about a kilo of potatoes, I've got one brown onion which I've roughly chopped, just going to put that in there too. I've got about a handful of some shredded ham. This is ham that I just got from the Delicatessen Ready Shredded. Um, just basically we're going to chuck that in. You don't have to use ham if you don't want to. You can use bacon or if you're a vegetarian you can put say a can of chickpeas through or some lentils or whatever you fancy. Realistically it's just to add a bit more depth to the flavour. Now we're also going to put in some garlic. Now, of course you can use freshly crushed garlic. I'm using the jar stuff as I normally do because it's quicker and easier. I'm putting in about two teaspoons because I like a fair kick of garlic in my things. So that can go straight in like that. Lovely. Now, to make our sauce, we have one cup of milk, which I'm just going to pour straight over. Lovely. And one carton of pure cream. This is a 500ml carton, so I'm just going to pour that straight in. Basically we want to cover the mixture. Lovely. That can go in there. Done. Now we'll just give that a quick stir to make sure everything's nicely combined and distributed. That's looking good. As you can see that's just covered, that's what we want, because you don't want it to be absolutely overflowing. Now we're going to add some mixed dried Italian herbs. So that's got things like uh, rosemary, oregano, basil, whatnot. Just a little bit, you don't need tons. And we're going to season with some salt. Don't be afraid to put a lot of salt in because this is a savoury dish and the salt really does help to sort of release a lot of the flavours and the other things. And of course some pepper as well. That is essentially the complicated part over. Realistically, all we need to do now is to put this onto a high heat until it comes to the boil. Once it's started boiling, reduce it down to the lowest heat, put the lid on, and let it simmer for about 40 to 45 minutes. Then all we have to do is transfer it to our baking dish. Our potato bake has been baking on the stove for about 45 minutes. Let's take the lid off. Whoa. First thing you get is that impact of the smell, all that sort of beautiful savoury cream. Now using a slotted spoon, we're just going to gently take all of the lumps like the potato and the onion and whatnot and just transfer it into our baking dish and then we will spoon over the sauce. As you can see, I'm just spooning this sauce over the top. I'm not doing a huge amount. We're not going to be using it all, simply because we want this to sort of thicken up in the oven. We don't want to absolutely drown it. That's about right. It's about halfway up. So we've got all that in there. Now we're going to top it with some cheese. I'm just using some packet shredded cheese. As I say, you can put on as much or as little as you like. I like to put a fair amount on top because it'll start to melt through and it will go nice and crispy on top, which is what we're looking for. So basically this is our potato bake pretty much finished. All we need to do now is pop it into a preheated oven 
230 degrees, we want it nice and hot, 230 degrees Celsius that is, for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted and bubbly and browning and ready to serve. And here we have our finished result, our delicious creamy garlic potato bake. As you can see, the cheese has browned and melted on top, absolutely lovely. The sauce is slightly thickened in the oven, but when you take it out of the oven, leave it on the side for about five minutes and it will thicken up even more. Now, just as a final side note, one of my friends on YouTube, YouTube user True Blue Australian, I was telling him about this recipe a couple of weeks ago and he said he thought it sounded fantastic, but he wouldn't be able to eat it because he's allergic to garlic. Well, this is for you, True Blue Australian, poorly. All you have to do is follow this recipe exactly, except when it gets to the point where you put the garlic in, you can substitute for a couple of teaspoons of your favorite mustard and a couple of teaspoons of some honey, and you'll have honey mustard potatoes. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash one pot chef show. And until next time, see you later.